At one point or another, you may have used drones for fun. Drones can fly high in the air, and some drones can capture video of things that we might not be able to see otherwise. But how do drones fly, and how do they stay in the air? In today's Stemager video, we'll explore how drones work and why drones have become increasingly more important. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Stemager. If you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to share it with your friends. Now, let's explore drones. So how do drones fly? A key factor in drone flight is their propellers. A propeller is an object with blades that spin at a high speed. The propellers are usually attached to the motor, which are attached to the body of the drone. Most drones have four or more propellers, and these propellers are responsible for helping a drone fly. The propellers are designed with an airfoil shape to produce maximum lift. What is an airfoil shape? You may recall I talked about this special shape in my first damage year video when exploring how airplanes fly. Airfoil shapes are designed to split the air flowing around a structure. In the case of the propeller, is what has the airfoil shape. On the blade of the propeller, one side is curved while the other is flat. The airfoil shape of the blade creates uneven pressure on the blade which ultimately creates lift and allows the blades to turn. To control how much lift is being produced by the propellers, a motor will speed up or slow down the propeller. The motor speed will create more or less lift. So, in order for the drone to take off, we simply need to use the motors to increase the speed of the propellers to generate lift. Once enough lift is generated, the drone can take off. The lift must be greater than the drone's weight to allow the drone to ascend in altitude. The propeller's speed can be reduced to a point where lift equals weight. When this happens, the drone levels off or appears to be floating in air. All the propellers rotate at the same speed for takeoff. However, two propellers rotate counterclockwise and the other pair clockwise. But why is this? Well, if all the propellers were rotating in the same direction, the drone would turn in the opposite direction of the propellers. If all four propellers were rotating clockwise, the drone would rotate counterclockwise. This, is, this can be explained using the Newton's third law. There is an equal and opposite reaction of the drone's body to the propeller making the drone turn. With the propellers rotating in an opposite direction of each other, we are essentially canceling out this opposite reaction that would have made the drone turn. So how does a drone move forward, backward, or sideways? To achieve any of these three movements, we could simply change the amount of force or speed to the propellers. To move forward, the two propellers at the front will need to reduce speed. This will create more lift at the back of the drone and less lift in the front of the drone. The drone will pitch forward or down. This in turn will cause the drone to move forward. If you were to reduce the speed of the back propellers but increase the speed of the front propellers, then the drone would move backward. If we want the drone to roll, you would need to increase the speed of the two propellers on the right side and decrease the speed of the propellers on the left side. You could do the same thing but reverse for the drone to roll on the left side. As a result, there will be more force on one side where the speed is higher and rotate in the opposite direction. Finally, to make the drone yaw, we need to increase the speed of one set of counterclockwise propellers or clockwise propellers then decrease the speed of the other pair of propellers. A yaw motion is a rotation on the vertical axis. So now that you've learned how drones fly, let's explore how they are used in the real world. While you may have only used drones for fun, drones can be used by companies and other people to do very amazing things. For example, Amazon is working on drone delivery. Their goal is to deliver the package using drones in 30 minutes. Right now, the drone can carry packages that weigh less than 5 pounds, but in the future, these drones for Amazon could be more advanced. Also, drones can help in agriculture by watering plants and detecting if plants are healthy without doing the human labor. Drones can also help with rescue efforts when people or other animals are hurt. Drones can be equipped with sensors and thermal cameras to detect humans in natural disasters and find lost people. Now you know all about drones. Thanks for joining me in the Stimage adventure. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. 
and give my video a like if you enjoy the content. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.